Hi everyone, how are you doing today? I hope that you're feeling well and all is good in your life. I am currently having to do this post very, very quickly in the little nun's room because there is a builder next door doing some building work in the room next to the little nun's room and it's quite loud. So I think the builder is currently on a tea break. It seems the pattern has been an hour of banging and knocking and whatever else and then quarter of an hour tea break and then carry on it seems that seems uh, to be the pattern so I thought I'll take this opportunity to do a quick very very quick post so I have made for my coffee break tea break today a Dalgona coffee so I've been watching this online recently I made it purely because it looks really pretty and I like the idea of the milk at the bottom and the coffee at the top so you're like upturning the idea of a cappuccino not too keen because it's instant coffee don't really like instant coffee but I thought I'd give it a go so what you have to do is you get sugar equal quantities of sugar instant coffee and very very hot water together so watch out because you have to then whisk and whisk and whisk so be careful of that it did actually splutter a bit but more on my top than anything else keep whisking keep whisking keep whisking all I can think scientifically is it's like when you make a meringue the sugar starts to solidify and you end up with this like frothy frothy topping I can't even say that Fro frothy frothy <laughs> come on practice with me frothy <laughs> frothy topping <laughs> say that after a few Dalgona coffees especially if you haven't had caffeine for a while so mix it you end up with this frothy topping and then what you do is you add milk a certain amount of milk which I'll put in the description below it was 400 mils but this that's for two people uh, and then you add the the topping on top and it's looking like it's not actually sinking it's a little bit like a non-alcoholic non-alcoholic cocktail maybe like a an espresso martini but without any of the martini or the espresso come to think of that but you I think you get what I mean it looks very beautiful and that's why I've been drawn to it and I thought I'd give it a go I think this is going to be really good on a hot day because it's cold it's not particularly hot right now but I'm going to give it a go and I um I hope it's tasty I hope it's really good but it was really about like, the mixing the mixing of it and just seeing what happens because I do like that kind of scientific experiment just to see and it, it does fascinate me that the sugar actually makes it um start to solidify so anyway I'm going to give it a go in a minute and um I just thought I'd post this you can also make a hot version but fun and funky got no idea how much you pay for this in a bar probably quite expensive but it is so easy to do at home if you've got the right ingredients so if you've been to <laughs> this, I'm not advocating grabbing the sugar and um, <laughs> coffee sachets from hotel rooms <laughs> in the past and you might have a little stash of them but rather than going out and buying a whole new jar of instant coffee if you don't drink it but I'm just saying you might at the back of your cupboard have some of those things <laughs> But if you if you do have uh, that, give it a go and I'll put the description below of how to make it. Um, why not? Give it a try. Uh, so, yeah, so that's my post for today. Still can't hear any knocking. Absolutely fantastic. And I will speak to you soon. If you like what you see, please subscribe and follow. As you know, I'm also posting not only to YouTube, but IGTV as well. So take care and speak to you tomorrow. All right. Lots of love. Bye.